Dan Woody, Safety Manager for the College of Engineering. I'm going to talk a little bit about safety issues to consider when you're transporting chemicals. So what occurred is that we had a student that needed to transport some trichloroethylene, TCE, solvents. We had a four liter bottle, it was about half full, and he needed to go from the basement level up to the second floor. And in doing that, he made a poor choice and decided not to carry it in secondary containment like a rubber bucket. And in the process of returning the material, he had the bottle he was holding with one hand and something else in the other hand. And when he came to the store, he needed to open it. Well, his hands were full, so therefore he had to put the bottle down to open the door. In the process of doing that, the bottle broke, releasing the two liters of trichloroethylene both here in the stairwell as well as in the hallway outside. And that led to a lot of fumes in the main stairwell for the building, which was obviously a safety issue. So it took some time to get it cleaned up and secure the space. And in the meantime, while we had to do that cleanup, most of these floors were closed due to the fumes spreading through. So the initial reaction of the student was to was very good in throwing down some spill control kits and seeking assistance from some nearby staff. Unfortunately, when they first tried to get response and to assist with this, they started by calling the wrong number. They basically calling the front desk of Environment, Health, and Safety, which isn't really the place to call for emergencies. The proper procedure in that place in that case would be to call 911 from any wired phone here on campus or 255-1111 from your cell phone if you don't have a wired phone there. Uh, that will connect you directly with the Cornell Emergency Services that can get the help you need to deal with the chemical spill. So a couple of important points that we've learned from this is that while it's important to make sure that you think about how you're going to transport your chemicals safely, particularly using a rubber bucket or secondary containment so that if something does happen, it's the spill is less or the, the release is smaller. The second piece is to uh, try and transport smaller quantities. The student really only needed to work with a very small amount of the TCE. Instead of transporting a large two, four liter bottle that was half full, uh, it would have been better to get a smaller container to pour off the amount he needed and then transport that to the lab he needed it in.